Hey guys, it's Doug McGuff with DrMcGuff.com. I just finished a workout. I'm going to show off my t-shirt. Uh, sent to me uh, by Mike Bradley, Florida State University Seminoles. He is the strength and conditioning coach for the basketball team. They follow high intensity principles, so uh, I'm showing him props here and thanks for the t-shirt. Um, I just finished my workout and I just wanted to give you a graphic representation of a set of exercise. I'm going to show this to you here on the chalkboard that I drew up here. Um, I was never aware of this graphic relationship until I visited Ken Hutchins and the Renex guys and used their eye machines with graphic feedback. But what we'll represent is over here on this axis is force and across here is time. And up at the top across here, we represent the amount of force to exceed the body's structural limits. And what we'll show here is how we do a typical slow cadence set. So what we'll do is we'll do a very gradual ramp up of force and this line right across here is the selected weight, which we can just call 100. Um, so you do a very gradual ramp up of force to rob you of any momentum until you get up to the weight. What you'll see is on the positive stroke, you'll measure a little above the baseline. That's because you don't just have to overcome the weight, but you have to overcome your body's own friction and the apparatus friction. And you complete a positive, and then you start your negative excursion, and you'll notice that that is a little bit less than the selected weight and that's because in the negative those components of frictions are subtracted from the force output then you start your next positive then your negative and so on and as you're doing that the muscles continuously loading and it's fatiguing until you get to a point where you can no longer produce adequate force output to exceed the weight and then your force output just falls through the floor. Now, interestingly, if one were to do a time static contraction measured against this force plate and went as hard as they could go, you'll see this thick dashed line will represent that. You could be able to produce, actually it's the thin dashed line, produce an amount of force output initially because you were fresh that could even exceed your body's structural ligament, uh, limits. You could actually pull a tendon off the bone at this phase up here. But then fatigue will set in and your force will drop back into the safe zone. But then your force output rapidly declines until it meets this same point here and falls through the floor. But with their research on time static contraction, what they found is you can do it just like you do with a selected weight. With this thick dash line, you just gradually build up, build up, build up. And for sake of clarity here, I went just a little higher than our selected weight of 100 units. And then you just hold that level of force output as steady as you can for as long as you can. And guess what? At the same point, it falls off and drops through the floor.